It's Usually Hello, and those who follow the podcast, also called It's Usually Hello, which, by the way, if you're not following the podcast, what is wrong with you, you're missing out. But those who follow the podcast know that from the wrestling world, I've been able to make a lot of friends slash connections who actually work in the business and have other connections who get interest in trivia and stuff back to them. And of course, I'm not going to name names because I don't want to ruin those connections or do anything to stop the information coming to me. But I heard a story that was just fascinating to me. And I've got to be honest, I've heard this from more than one person. And you can go ahead and assume who that is. But these come from very, very reliable sources. And I had asked, what's the relationship like between Brock Lesnar and Vince McMahon? Do they get along? Are they friendly outside of business? Well, the answer is, apart from business talk, they don't talk and they don't speak. And I thought, well, why is that? Why is that? So I asked, and it turns out that it's because of Sable. Now, allegedly, we've got to say that legally, Back in 2003, Vince McMahon banged Sable. I don't know if this is what brought her back into the company. I don't know if this is what happened while she was back at the company. Uh, was that one of those Smackdown after parties? But basically, uh, Vince, uh, you know, he got uh, Sable back to his office one day and uh, she removed her blouse. She uh, dropped her panties. And then Vince gave her the grapefruits. Yeah! Well, I think that's what he said I was in there. But yeah, in 2003, Vince banged Sable. Now, I'm sure many people know, in later 2003, early 2004, Sable not only started to date Brock Lesnar, but it turned into a relationship which turned into an engagement, which turned into a marriage. But apparently Brock never found out about this until after they left WWE. And to be fair, he was mature about it and that he was thinking, well... I had a wife and kids before I met her. She was married before she met me. I can't judge someone for having a sex life or a private life before being married to me. And he would be right to do that. And plus it really seemed like Lesnar was never going to come back to WWE because at the time TNA seemed like it was going to be something. He was wrestling in Japan. And then of course the UFC happened where Lesnar is making literally millions per fight. So really, WWE was never something that he ever had to think about. But then Lesnar's UFC career took a turn and he went from being a sure bet to being a special attraction. So, and as everybody knows, Dana White doesn't pay royalties, so Lesnar needed some sort of income. So, Lesnar came back to the WWE. Now, Lesnar's a businessman. He's not going to say, Oh, I'm not going to work anywhere that my wife has uh, been uh, intimate with someone before. That would be stupid. That's not my Brock Lesnar impression, by the way. I was just doing our voice. I could probably do a Lesnar one if I tried. So, yeah, they go back. But now the problem was, uh, while Lesnar was out of WWE, he had no interaction with WWE. So he never really had to speak to Vince, a guy that he knew banged his wife. And that's going to play in your conscience because everyone's heard the stories about Vince McMahon. Uh, there's one night stand in his treatment of women and all the, the dirty things that he... Likes them to do to him. Yeah, touch me there. Can I do this to you? Oh, put it in my mouth. Allegedly. So yeah, that's why Vince McMahon and Lesnar don't get along so great. Because Lesnar knows that Vince banged his wife. Lesnar knows that a lot of other people in the industry know that. And Lesnar knows that if that info were to get out and he were to start getting heckled, well, he may have to crush someone's skull. And it's also likely why Sable will not go into the Hall of Fame ever because this sort of story could become public knowledge and that's not something that Sable or Vince would want to happen. Personally, I've got to say, nice work, Vince. Have you seen what Sable looked like in 2003? Oh, yes. It's worth the heat with Brock Lesnar if you can get the 2003 version of Sable. I'm not going to shut up. Peace, yeah!